our, uh, our cable got tied in. So now it's closet time. Gosh, I already put on a glued, glued on piece of MDF. Uh, we found two studs and we screwed it in. We did some research online. This is a PAX, um, whatever it's called. Wardrobe. Wardrobe. And it can, in fact, be screwed in from the outside with closet rod. So should be fine. Just gonna do two on this side, a piece of MDF up here, piece of MDF down there. And then from there, we're gonna let it dry. And then tomorrow, we're gonna finish off the closet, hey? Yeah, we don't have to let it dry. Um, it's just safer to let it dry for like 24 hours of glue. Yeah. Because Kasha is our resident construction worker, I'm going to be the filmer today. <laughs> I'm not, my dad is. My dad's a resident construction Okay, so we need to measure, so that one is 65 inches for the middle of the rod. Just, you know, like we discussed in our previous video. So this one is going to be, what did I say? 64 and 84? No. 62. 46. 40. Or like 42. 42. 84. 84. Okay, so Andre is dealing with um, something downstairs. So I'm going to just plan this out. So I have my handy dandy notepad. So it's 42 inches from the top and 84 inches from the bottom. Okay. My mind is a blank. Oh, okay. oh, you said 40 and a quarter? Yeah. That just seems really- That's taller than this, I'm pretty sure. That seems really high. That is really high. So why is that the measurements that the internet gave me? Maybe because the internet is lying to you. I don't like those measurements. Okay, I'm going to figure out my own measurements then. Sad. 79. Okay, so 79 minus 1.75. 77.25. 77. Okay. So 77 and a quarter. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's great. I'm really happy that we're doing this on our clean sheets. <laughs> That's okay. Um, the rod go about right here. And that's about, I'm just gonna say 11. So these are our rods. There's been developments, hasn't there? First off, we now have a mirror. I Ignore think I was the mess. The same thing last time too. Probably, except you weren't wearing those jeans. Wearing jeans. Uh, but. We have attached uh, the glue boards uh, or the MDF with glue and screws on all sides. So one, two, and three. I painted them. Um, but there was an issue with this one. It was a little too high. So Kasha tore it off and put on a new one. Yeah, so and then... it, this, it was about right here. So I moved it about an inch and a half down. And then I had to paint it. Yeah, we painted, you painted off the sides, which makes it look so I much better. painted everything. Oh, even everything, okay. Well, yeah, now it's now it's fully white rather than the finish that came with the MDF like, board with the brown sides. If you look. It's like an off-white compared to a, like a pure white. Yeah. Which, you know. Oh my God, here you can even tell. But yeah, so now we have. So these rods, so we'll put it in. You kind of just have to push the closet in, yeah. Okay. Then we will put this in. It should be about right here. This might be too long. Huh? I just don't want to like have it break through. I didn't really have a lot of belly clearance. 
and we're wondering why a pregnant lady's doing all of this. <laughs> oh, the battery's dying. Oh, that's why it's weak. We also got another one of these, finally. Um, my dad picked up when he went to Ikea for us. So, so that's very helpful. You know what this means, Andre? After we're done this? Project done. Project done. After like three weeks. But Finally. the only reason why it took so long was because we need to finish the wiring. Which was all underneath Which was, here. yeah. Underneath here for our... For our Cat 7... Okay, there. Ooh, Ooh. this one might be a little too big. Might oh. be. Just needs to shave down, hey? Oh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Is it level? Yeah. Okay. And then this one, we use a out. knife, which now is not focusing. Why is nothing focusing? But it's all busted it's and chipped. It's all busted now. So we're just going to measure it, see if it's straight, and then we'll put it in. Finally, it's in. And now we can finally start to put our clothes on. Yes. Finally. Finally. Because this is exhausting. It's very exhausting. Living out of bags is not fun. So all in all, I think we did a pretty good job. Um, we got closet rod, closet rod, one long one over there, myself on the mirror. And then we got it, we ended up getting another shelf, as we mentioned earlier, um, for like sweaters and stuff. Kind of open shelf over here and then our four drawers plus a basket at the bottom. So all in all, pretty good. So how do you like the new closet? I love it. Especially since you built it too. Yeah, it's it's honestly like really relieving that we finally have it done. Yeah. But um, honestly, this sounds so crazy. The hardest part has been putting our clothes into it. <laughs> Just, <laughs> um, but the like the fact of like having to put our clothes back into it and just do stuff like that uh that is exhausting and also the fact that i don't wear majority of the clothes not because like i don't wear majority of the clothes i do have pregnant. seasonal clothes but because i'm pregnant and i just can't physically fit in a lot of the clothes um i don't i don't even know like what i use anymore like i have like three pairs of pants now and i ripped a pair of those pants yesterday so so that was super sad. Part two of building our closet is going to be filling it now. But no, it won't be. We hope you guys enjoyed at least the construction side of the building mm -hmm. of the closet and hope maybe you found it informative or you found it fun or interesting. Yeah. But um, if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you and next week. hit that like button down below. I literally just said that. Did you? I say that right off the beginning. Oh, crazy. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and the like button down below. Oh God. Subscribe okay. if you haven't Bye, already. Bye guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>